Hi guys, uh, this is going to be a haul, um, as you know, I love shopping and I've been shopping again. It's not all from one day, some of it is from um, the other day, but I did actually go shopping today as well. Uh, right, the first thing is, there's really basically only two shops that I'm going to say, there's Poundland and there's Superdrug. Um, so yeah, that's been no big surprise there. Um, the first things I'm going to do is three skincare items that I got from Poundland today. Um, I've been noticing spots again and I'm just getting sick of it so I bought this it's the clear seal I think this is seal to clear um, not quite sure what this does but it comes in like a get it out it comes in a little tube so I take it it's like a gel um, and you put it over the spot and it basically dries and seals so it's probably better to use it at night but I'm going to let you know how I get on with that obviously that was a pound because I got that from Poundland um, can't get it back in there now. I'll put that over there. The next thing I bought was a couple of um, skin creams. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen this in their pound land, but it's the Lift 3D um, by Proderma Innovations. This is the night cream. Um, <coughs> so yeah, this is recommended for sort of my sort of age, which is between you know 30 and 50, I suppose. Um, and I am between that, so it comes in a lovely little glass bottle, very sort of professional looking actually for Poundland, which I thought was quite good. Um, it's quite a nice cream, I've tried it on my hand, um, so yeah, we'll see how I go with that. That's the night cream, and I also got the um, 3D Lift Deep Wrinkle Eraser from Proderm as well, which looks like that. Um, and this is the tube, I think this is more of a concentrated serum. Again, really nice packaging. Um, it's a lovely smell to it. It's not too intense. So yeah, I really like that. So I got that one. That was a pound. Right. Uh, yeah, carry on with Poundland I'm going to because I've got quite a bit from Poundland. I got another one of my Chit Chat blushes. This is quite a dark one. Um, but it is actually a blusher, not a bronzer. Um, I've actually got it on my cheeks today. Um, sort of a, I don't know what colour it is. It's called Autumn Rose, so it's like a dark pink. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's got a lovely sheen to it, and it's just got a really nice colour. Again, with the chit chat bronzers, I would uh, blushes. I would say take a light hand because they are very pigmented. Um, I've got the three, the two um, really light pink ones as well, which just leave the most gorgeous sheen on your face. And I believe um, Kayla from Miss Budget Beauty loves these as well, so yeah, that's that one. Then I picked up a, a Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner, and this one is in 007. Oh, that's good. Um, but it's a blue, basically. I don't think you can see that. Um, it's got a really nice little nib on it. Um, it's like a spongy nib. There you go. Excuse all the swatches. I've been sorting out my lipsticks. Um, but yeah, I did a little swatch of it. There it is. And it's, once it's on, pretty pretty much on there. So yeah, got that. Then I picked up two more of the um, Hot Looks Nail Polishes from Collection. And normally, I don't know if you saw my last haul, but they had like three of the same colour in a pack. And that's just so annoying. Um, but I found some ones that had all different colours in them today. Um, I've got a duplicate of two colours here, but... Um, I might put a little uh, competition at the end of this, um, I don't know, question, because I've got two of these, this one, which is um, Blue Hawaii, and it's a very, very gorgeous colour. Uh, let me see if I can just get you in closer there. There you go, really pretty colour. Um, so yeah, I've got two of those, because that came in both packets. So this one I got, it's called Milkshake, very nice sort of rosy pink and 
I also got Angel Wings, which is like a grey, silvery grey colour. That was three for a pound. Um, and then the other one I got also came with the um, Himalayan Blue. Is it Himalayan Blue? No, Blue Hawaii. So I've got two of those now. Um, and it also came with Dynasty, which is the most gorgeous violet colour. This camera's not doing anything justice here. And also got fruit salad. And I do believe, actually, I was looking in Super Drug today, and all these colours are still sold in there. Um, so, yeah, they've still got all these colours in there. So, yeah, there you go. What I might do with that blue one is just say, if you um, want it, um, leave a comment saying that you'd love it um, below, because, like I say, I've got two of them, and I don't need two. So, if you want it, leave a comment below saying, yes, please, could I have that blue nail polish, or something like that. Um, then I'll, I don't know draw it tomorrow or um, Saturday and just pick one of you and see which one I can send it to because you can have it, I don't need two, so there you go uh, right, then I got in Poundland some of these Nivea lipsticks and I believe I've seen these on um, the lovely Chocky Cas, Karen from Chocky Cas. I think she's actually got both of these colours as well, I found them the other day this one, I just love the, the shape, I'm going to do a close up of this because the shape of the lipstick, the work that's gone into it is just amazing, this is Berry Charms um, I mean that doesn't do it justice. Let me just look at the pattern. That's just amazing. <sighs> Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I'll just do a swatch on the back of this hand. It's a really, really deep red. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very creamy. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And the next one is the most gorgeous purple. Even though it says mauve, mauve does not do it justice. So that's the colour. Again, with an absolutely beautiful... Um, marking on it and there's the purple can't wait to wear those then i found some sleek lipsticks oh we had some in our pound land um i've got three sheer actually i've got more than that but i sent a couple um abroad um i've got three sheer ones i think they're all different yes they are and i've got two true color ones as they're called um so the three sheer ones i got are silk satin and calico again calico was on um Chalky Cass's channel I do believe and that's just like a lord, lovely latte sort of brown colour let me just watch it it says they're sheer colour but you know they have got quite a bit of colour there uh, the next one is satin which is just a really really nice sort of creamy pinky colour let's watch that next too these would be so lovely for the summer um, so that's that one there and silk is the last one which is just a really like um this would be nice over any sort of colour. Yeah, that one's really sheer. It's like a gold. I don't think you can see it. No, you can't. Um, the colour I've got on my nails at the moment, actually, is um, NYC. Oh, NYC, what is it? Um, full Metal Jacket. Yeah, Full Metal Jacket. Right, and then the two true colour ones I got from there. One is Orchid, and again, this is just the most divine dark purple so let me put that absolutely gorgeous colour again I don't know when I'm going to wear this because dark colours really don't suit me um, but that's um, Orchid there again that was a pound and I think Karen had this one as well which is Majestic which is also a purple and there's not a lot of difference in it I don't know if you're going to be able to see the difference on here um, slight difference this one might be a little bit more like a uh, bright plummy and this one's a dark one so those are the lipsticks and that was all the Poundland haul then Superdrug um, as you know I love my NYC um, glossy lip balms which is these ones here um, this is the one I wear all the time and it's just oh, the most adorable adorable pink this one I didn't get today but that's what one I wear all the time looks like apart from today because I've got Maybelline on today um, the smell of these is just divine um, so that was the one I had then I picked up uh, two more so I picked up Pink Lady which is just a really 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 sort of light pink with obviously the little apple in the top um, is the balm and I also picked up Caramel Apple, which is like a 
sort of beigey colour with again a little apple in the top which is a balm so I picked those up and then I also picked up two of my um, NYC Expert Last Lip Colours one is in just the most adorable blue rose which is this one here and you can I mean just looking at it there you can see the blue shimmer um, but I'll swatch it anyway it's just the most adorable adorable there it is there. Um, you can see the run of blue going through it it's just amazing I love that colour um, and the other one I got was Sugar Plum which again is not a pink really but it's um, a nice sort of colour there you go that one there so I picked up those two um, then I went on and jumped onto the bandwagon and bought the um, the grainy effect Barry M nail polishes. I got three of them because it was two for six pound, um, but I absolutely adored all three of these. I didn't really like the yellow one, but I am now now I've tried them, so tempted to go back and get the rest. So those are the three colours. The green one is Ridley Road. The blue one is Atlantic Road, and the pink one is Kingsland Road. And they're adorable and I've got three little um, nail things here I'm gonna bring you in closer right so that's the pink it's got this, just a really gorgeous sort of feel um, this is the blue and this is the greeny color minty green so yeah I've got those three but like I said I'm definitely gonna have to go back and get the other one because it's just absolutely gorgeous um, I bought this a while ago but never um, hauled it, so I'm going to haul it today because I don't think you've, you've actually seen it. It's the um, Eclat Mineral uh, Mineral Radiance Bourgeois Powder. Um, I've got mine in vanilla because that's pretty much what I am in the um, things. And it's supposed to be a mineral powder. It, it's quite strange actually. It's quite pinky orange when it goes on the skin, but then it blends out. So yeah, I've got that to try really because I don't really know much about that. But I'm going to get into that and maybe um, Google it or something, see what's going on. Then I picked up the anti-blemish tinted moisturiser from which, because um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to try this again because of the spot thing. Um, I just thought I'd have a go, see what it does, and I got that in light. And then I picked up another one of these. I'm going to try this again. I think when I did my foundation collection, if you remember, um, I said I hated this. Uh, but I tried it I think because I had biscuit and it was really dark and it looked awful on my skin um, but I got this one today it's the collection lasting perfection ultimate wear foundation 16 hour and I got it in ivory because I put it on the back of my hand and it just it seemed to look okay um, then I put a bit on the side of my face and that seemed to look okay so I'm going to give it another go because it was on special offer it was only three pound 64 or something like that um, so yeah I went and got one of those then again, I jumped on another bandwagon and went out and bought this because everybody's raving about this. Even though I absolutely love my MUA eyebrow pencil, um, obviously I'm using the Elf kit and the Sleep kit at the moment with the wax um, to see how I go with that. But I do actually love my MUA eyebrow pencils. But I went and got the Rimmel one, and I got this in hazel. And it says 002, but I don't think there is an 001 because Kayla from Miss Budget Beauty was talking about it and she said that there must be a lighter colour, um, but there, there was never one in her store. There's not one in my store. There's not one in the other big store that I go to. I've never seen a lighter one than the Hazel, so I'm going to give that a go. Last two items, again from Collection, uh, another one of their mascaras. Again, like I need another mascara, ladies, um, but this is the Longer Lash and it's the lash building one I think because it's quite fibrous I don't know if I can bring you in and show you but it looks like it's got fibres in it um, so yeah it's definitely fibrous I don't know if you can see that and bring it right in but yeah so yeah I'm going to have a go at that because I'll tell you for why I got a fibre building one I picked something up from Superdrug last week and to try it um, and I think this was mentioned on Pixie Boo, I'm not sure, but it's the Brush On Force Lashes. This thing in here was 9 99 and I thought, you know, for that price, it's going to have to be good. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. 
anyway i tried it and i hate it absolutely hate it i'm going to keep trying with it because i'm really not sure um if i'm doing it right but i followed the instructions basically it's lash fibers um which you put your normal mascara on and then immediately you brush over with this and this has got like fibers you see all them fibers in there um, and they stick to the mascara that you've just put on your eyes then you leave it for 30 seconds um, and then you do another coat of your mascara I tried that which was cool and for the first sort of hour or so it was okay I had nice long thick lashes and then I started feeling this horrible sort of like fiberglassy type feeling in my eye um, and can only imagine that it was this flaking and the fibres dropping into my eye and it stung and it was horrible um, so yeah not liking this at the moment I'm going to try it again maybe with a different mascara maybe the mascara I used was just rubbish I don't know um, but I am going to try it again and see how I go so yeah that's been my little haul um, I say little there's still loads there wasn't there but yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you if there's anything you want a bigger review on that I haven't done a review on yet I've got so many reviews to catch up on by the way but yes I will do them um, yeah then I'll do that for you and obviously if you want that gorgeous blue lipstick uh, lipstick that gorgeous blue um, hot looks there you go there it is blue Hawaii nail varnish drop me a little comment in the box below saying specifically that you want this nail polish um, yes Nikki can I have that blue nail polish I love the blue nail polish can I have it anything sort of like that I will pick one out in the next couple of days and I'll contact you and you can have it basically so there you hi guys uh, this is going to be a haul um, as you know